All right, once again, we return in our Red Bull in the Canadian Grand Prix around the East Circuit. Jill Vilna. Looks like it might have rained long ago here. It was dried up. Still a cloudy day here. First time I personally have ever raced on this track. However, I did watch this extensively when it was aired earlier this year. Trying to avoid what Sergio Perez did and ended up in turn three or four's wall, whichever name, uh, numbering convention they go off of. Activating ERS here. To stomp on the brakes. A little bit too early here around one of the iconic final hairpins. Go down the back straight or front straight. The pre front straight. Turning off ERS to break heavy into the final chicane. Quite the dramatic overseer recovery there. Find ourselves with a 115.636 ending up in 11th place so far. I think we can safely tell that uh, we for a fact are uh, going to stick in 11th here because if anybody else was able to beat the 111.721 they would have finished by now. And here we are 11th position the Formula 1 AWS Grand Prix of Canada, I think was the full name there. I'm not quite sure there. But again, finishing in 11th position. Very happy with that result there. Gives us a potential chance to finish in the points today. All right, hold in the clutch. Build the revs. And release and go, 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 go. Second into third. And we spin out immediately. Honestly surprised that didn't happen any sooner, but here we are. We are down into 19th position ahead of the one and only I Love 4K Gaming. The names. It looks like we have our teammate here, also of Red Bull, spinning out a little bit after me. But uh, this could be a very interesting race already. Traumatizing for Christian Horner. But, uh... No more comments on that. <laughs> Breaking down here to fourth gear. Powering on through. Looks like our teammate here is closing the gap as we approach our... Hairpin here. I broke on time, but apparently it was way too late. Probably didn't need to have ERS on the entire time, which is most likely what caused our problem there. As we approach the final set of chicanes here. But we do not actually exceed track limits at all. Possibly, possibly uh, having some uh, corner cutting there. But by uh, the poor decision making on my part, we have uh, quite a sketchy exit of the first couple of corners there as I decide to go down to the first gear. Don't know why, but uh, that was a thing that happened. And this course is definitely quick. I actually do like this as the Alphatari in front of us crashes out. This course is very exciting in my opinion. Very exciting as it's very quick. Not too many technical corners. The flow of it is very nice and pleasant to drive on here. Instead of something like... Uh, the last couple of chicanes of Spa or Abu Dhabi in general. A lot of random, just really slow, tedious corners and just one after another after another. This one just 
you just go, 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 go. So we've got, uh, once again, lapping uh, 20th position. We can say for a fact we are not going to be last, but the bar is low today. As we have a very traumatic, devastating start. Throwing the wheels over into the grass here as we try to make up as much time as we possibly can. Late on the brakes. And so we approach the Alfa Romeo who has spun out that same spot. Taking the rumble strip very close to the wall there. Fortunately, not any issues there. So we're going to... Saw that one coming a mile away. <laughs> there we are. <laughs> I was about to say we are having a pretty nice exit there. I was going to say something along the lines of making sure that we're not slamming the throttle down. And sure enough, we have no traction in the rear. I find it surprising that the pit crews have yet to actually move that car off the racing line. Or off the, uh... Start finish line, more or less. But, uh, here we are. Lap four of five. Quite a horrible entrance and exit there. Close into the wall there. I need to find out how to take that corner a little bit better. As inevitably, I feel like I might have an incident like those other couple of cars, the Alphatari and the Alfa Romeo. So we might be able to make up some good time here as the person in front of us here managed to uh, spin out. And we got a couple of people on up who actually have a 10 second penalty. They are 10 seconds ahead of us. So if we can close that gap, which I don't know, we'll find out. Ah! What is with me and spinning out today? Unbelievable. And we're going to be sent out right into the middle of a corner there. Very gradual on the throttle there. Going to brake a little bit early so we can carry it on through. Technically corner cutting a little bit. And we've got a crash of an Alpine. And again, braking a little bit late there. Looks like the Alpine has uh, come back up, but then immediately crashed out as well. Did not finish. But that has give us, given us a promotion up into 15th. And unfortunately, the gap to the individual with the 10 second penalty is now up to a 13 second gap. Being careful on the exit there as we have had numerous incidents. Trying to keep our nose clean. Just activate ERS. We should have been keeping focus of that for quite some time throughout this race. We did not. Might have explained some of our lack of pace as we take across, take the flag. And across the final lap, sir, finish line there. Fifteenth position should be better in a Red Bull. Competition is fierce. That's my only excuse, I guess. I don't know. Ah, finishing in fifteenth position. Uh, not quite there. Not quite there to be on the screen. Quite unfortunate there. But will. Pick ourselves up by the bootstraps, even though it's a metaphorical metaphor. Hypothetical metaphor that makes no sense. Here we go. Red Bull finally had enough of my garbage driving and demoted me down to Williams, where Williams has quite the nice color matching with my preferred livery. But here we are. The one shot qualifying in the circuit of americas absolutely hated this track gonna be honest with this